Hello everyone, welcome back to Head Up Keys. As a hair pro, you're there for your clients. That's why we're here for you. We're so pleased you've joined us and L'Oreal Professional to explore this new community dedicated to mental health. Mental health conditions are more common than we think. One in five people experience a mental health condition each year. They can affect all of us, no matter our age or background. Sometimes they have a clear cause, sometimes they don't. We're going to cover four important topics related to mental health. First, there's stress. It's a heightened response to a situation, person or interaction. Some stress can be a good thing. It actually helps our body and mind focus and perform. Next, there's anxiety. This is one reaction to stress, but it can become more long-term and chronic. It's a persistent feeling of fear or extreme worry. Then we have depression. This can make you feel sad, discouraged or hopeless. It impacts your ability to focus and think through the challenges of everyday life. Lastly, we have burnout. This happens when you're overwhelmed, emotionally drained, and you can't keep up with work-life demands. It describes a source of physical, emotional, and mental exhaustion. It's often a result of prolonged stress or frustration. Knowing the signs of a mental health challenge is the first step to taking action to help your well-being. Daniel, would you mind sharing a bit of your experience with anxiety? For me, anxiety is something that builds over time and it's case by case. Sometimes my anxiety is low and sometimes it becomes really high. I find myself having challenges breathing, um, maybe tightness in the chest. If the severity of the anxiety reaches a top, uh, my legs physically go numb. And so I have to push myself into a breathing exercise so that I can start to relieve some of those symptoms. Mm -hmm. I noticed that hairdressers, when they talk to me about anxiety, talk about the same things. And they talk about how they become more controlling of their environment mm -hmm. to try and manage the anxiety, which is exhausting. Which creates, in turn, more anxiety. More stress. Let's hear from pros like you. de mis mayores eh, síntomas de estrés a mí me afecta por mareos alguna vez que me ha ocurrido me he levantado por la mañana y me, 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 me he levantado como aturdido pues eso es se, por lo visto es un tipo de ansiedad que en mi físico se, se traduce en cuanto a en cuanto a mareos I would always notice it first when my voice would go and that would be the first sign the different functions of a woman's body would change and you know then again it's like that freak out of that your body telling you you need to stop e um sinal que eu tive assim que eu fiquei mega assustado foi eu tenho pressão baixa então eu tremia no salão pulso dormente e cara eu trabalho com as minhas mãos uma coisa que eu não posso perder movimentação. I'm just looking into nothing and suddenly there are tears and I'm crying and then when I identify why am I crying? Why am I looking into space and just not thinking about anything? But remember, we're all different and show different signs. If you're not sure about what you're experiencing, it's best to talk to your healthcare professional. However, a clear sign of struggle is that there's a major change in your or someone else's behavior. What about you? Take a moment to think about how you've been feeling lately. Pause the video. Take as much time as you need to reflect on what you're experiencing or feeling. Unpause the video when you're done. We'll be here waiting. Did you take a moment to think about how you've been feeling? Don't worry if you find it odd or difficult. You'll get the chance to do it again. So Haley, as a former hairdresser, what were some of the signs that you noticed in yourself? Well, for me, I really struggled with depression in my teens and 20s. And what was really hard is that no one was talking about it. I thought I was going to just have to accept it. There was so much stigma, I didn't know where to get help. Stigma comes in many forms. It's one of the biggest barriers to all our mental health well-being. In fact, it prevents 40% of people with anxiety or depression from seeking help. This can leave us feeling isolated and alone in our struggles. That's why we're here with Head Up Keys.
on accepte pas que tout le monde y a des problèmes, tout le monde y a de, des choses dans le passé de sa vie qu'on garde sur le sous-conscience. You know, we all go through a lot. Sometimes, you know, you do not want to address it. You have that stigma. No, no, it's okay. I will, uh, I'm just perfectly okay. I don't need to think about it. Some cultures teach you. I was taught. If you talk about your problems, you are weak. Porque quando você se entende que você precisa de ajuda, você vai conseguir tanto se ajudar, se cuidar e passar a ajudar também uma outra pessoa que está passando por o mesmo problema. I think it's very important the, to be vocal about needing help. I think that's how we get stuck. If you're feeling bad, feel bad, but don't brush it under the carpet. Everybody has their own capacity. The best thing you can do is speak out. That's the key. We want you to know that it's okay to feel what you feel and recognize that acknowledging our feelings is the first step in your journey. But if you're not struggling, that's great. And we want you to stay that way. That's why Head Up Keys is for you too. You'll learn techniques to maintain your mental health well-being. It's Head Up time. Get those Head Up notebooks out. Our first exercise is about self-reflection. A few moments ago, we asked you to think about how you've been feeling. Now let's put those thoughts on paper. Writing is like a safe place for me. I just start writing uh, all the things that I'm grateful for uh, and what I like to let it go. Journaling is a great tool for mental health and personal growth. It's one of the most therapist, counselor, recommended coping mechanisms for managing mental health. You can use it to channel thoughts and emotions while working through anxiety, depression, and even your dreams and goals. The best part about journaling is there are many different ways to do it. Take as much time as you need to reflect on how you're feeling. Write down what comes to you. Now you know about some different mental health issues and ways to recognize them. Next, it's time to learn how to support your own well-being and better manage your work stress. That's in the next episode of Head Up Keys. See you then.